Well, fuck. Close that window. Pissing rain out like a mask. So, welcome to Fake Saturday, aka not gonna get shit done on the car day today because the weather's not cooperating that much is a given. So it's like really banging out there, like lightning big times. Now I got the camera on, it's shy. Just had a thundercracker out there. The light show, la oh. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Fuck, maybe my house will get nuked and then the insurance will have to build me a new house. Wouldn't that be sweet? I just got an interesting phone call. I just got a call from my boss. I got my termination notice, my severance, all that shit. As of the end of the year, I'm done. It's finally happened. And I feel kind of weird about it. This is definitely a strange feeling. Hmm. I don't know how to react to that right now. It's definitely a strange feeling knowing that next year things are going to be either better or worse. Yeah, it's weird. There we go. I just uploaded, uh, still can't believe this. Still uploaded, I just uploaded 13 videos to vlog in life, six commenting on comments, seven vlogs. So we're good for a while now. I'm still fucking shocked that there's light at the end of the tunnel. Like, I'm, yeah, like, I don't know how, how to, I, I, it's like, I can't even fucking talk right now. I'm sorry. I, shit. Like, yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, it's not coming through on camera, but man, look at it out there. It's like raining, but sunny same time. You can hear the rain. Wow. Look at the colors over there. We'll just blast right to the screen, get a focal. Look at the colors. Colors. I still need to go to the grocery store, but uh, I wanted to uh, talk about when I was talking about my PlayStation 3 setup and what I wanted to do. Um, basically over here I got this old Xbox and there's a bunch of shit in front of it. I gotta do some cleanup on my desk, which I'm probably gonna do after I put the camera down. Um, that Xbox, it's, it's a red ringer. <clears throat> Big time red ringer. So what I gotta do to make it not red ring is you punch it right in the transformer paint on and all of a sudden it starts working. So I need an X clamp for that one. But this is where I'm gonna put the PlayStation 4. I hope it fits in that hole. I don't know how wide they are. Um, but I'm gonna put it there. And I'm gonna hook it up to this TV. Right now I got Cody on here uh, watching Simpsons. And yeah, I'm gonna hook it up to this TV and I'll just do all my streaming from here. And then, right now I'm watching Slogo Man's uh, Grand Theft Auto, but I'll be able to look at in-game comments on this computer while I play, unless I decide to stream the comments straight to YouTube, like you can do on Sony. And that way there, I can leave the PlayStation 3 hooked up over there to the Hopage, which is now recording. Uh, I can finish Red Dead Redemption. I got a couple other games that I want to play, so I can finish those. And... Yeah, and seeing how I'm probably going to be off. So, okay, get this. Um, my termination date is December the 14th. However, I've got vacation time for next year that i got to use. So it's probably like three weeks and six days or five days or some shit. So what, they, what they're going to do is they're going to give me three weeks prior to November 14th minus five days. So let's just bust open the calendar now and we'll look at that. So, let me just get a handle of the... So there's December the 14th, so one week, two weeks, three weeks, and five days. So I'm probably going to be done November the 17th, which is a Tuesday. Maybe somewhere around here, November 17th, 18th. So literally, I have a month of work left. By the time you guys watch this, being the 26th, it's less than a month. It's like 20 days left. Unbelievable. Like, this... The reason why I'm so shocked by by everything that's going on is, keep in mind, we've known about this termination since the twelve uh, since 2012. We're currently rolling in the 2016, like it's 2015 now. But I've known about this since 2012. That Bell bought us, or we were being sold, and. If the Liberals wouldn't have got in for the Ontario elections, if, if it would have been NDP that got in, we would still have jobs. They would have kept us. Now, people in the uh, comments were saying, well, the reason why they got rid of Ontario was because it was hemorrhaging money. Uh, this is the thing that I don't get is Ontario was the only part of the ONTC that was actually making profit. We were actually pulling in positive numbers. We weren't costing the government tons of money. There was no subsidization. The subsidization was the damn ONTC's transport. When they would, uh, like for instance, if somebody in Moussigny needed to go to, uh, to Toronto for a doctor's appointment or whatever, they'd have to jump on the train. 
the, the individual Musini would pay $400 and the government would subsidize $1,300 every freaking time. So that was hemorrhaging money. The, the train hemorrhages money. The, uh, the fact that the refurb department uh, wasn't allowed to bid on contracts costing the government money to keep it open. Ontario was the only thing actually making a profit and they sold this for $6 million to Bell but had to pay uh, $61 million in like legal fees and all sorts of other bullshit. So it cost the money to get rid of us. And it, it's like we were actually making the money, you know? So I think that's pretty fucked, but it is what it is. But this has been a battle or a thing that's been going on for a long time. And it's finally coming to an end. You know, it's finally done and it feels fucking weird knowing this like it feels really 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 weird knowing that this is happening so yeah I just it's it's a shock in my mind that's why I'm acting the way I'm acting it's like it's like a it's 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 definitely it's good and bad that's what I want to say it's good and bad it's good because now I got uh, I know where the the chat this chapter ends I know where it's gonna end I just wish it would have happened in January instead of December so that, but they are taking a bunch of money off the, uh, the severance. They're taking 35% and they're sending that to the government for income tax payments. So it probably won't be so bad next year on taxes, but we never know, never know. But just, yeah, freaking awesome. Well guys, now that the rain subsided a little bit, how are we doing for juice in the dirt? We're good. We're going to take a rip over to Freshco and we're going to scoop up some noms. Uh, we don't need beer. I bought a 2 4 last night. Uh, well, saw that video. The 2 4 Tall Boys. I already uh, had a couple last night when we were live streaming Grand Theft Auto. So that was awesome. And I still got plenty. Oh my goodness, what happened to your face? What happened? Oh man, this cat is going to cost me my entire fucking severance pay. She keeps fucking wounding herself. Well, time to find that cream and apply it to her face and hope to craze the heels. Oh my goodness! Worst thing I ever did was take a cat in the house. Should have just kept it me and Cookie Monster, eh? Oh well, you live and you learn, I guess. Well, here's the cream. So let's get that on her face, and she's gonna hate me for this. Alrighty, let's get going to the grocery store. Go see what we can scoop up for noms. You know what? I'm gonna bring my watch and take some clips while I'm there, probably. Fuck it, I got nothing exciting for this vlog except for the fact that I'm losing my job. We have a confirmed date. I need my wristwatch. I haven't worn this since I got attacked by fleas because it was annoying and it would make me itch. But uh, we're good now, so frig it. Here's your stupid puppy. Check the tires. Because you never know. It got cold last night. And tires like to deflate in the cold. Well, at least when I get my severance, I'll uh, be able to get this car all fixed. Yeah, I really want to do the body work today, but the weather said no, so whatever. It's the way she goes. I knew that was going to happen. Anyway, off to the grocery store. Already right, down here at the Fresh Girl. Let's go get some yum yums. Remember how I said I brought my watch so I could take video inside the store and not get caught? Well, don't expect clips from the watch because I forgot to use it. Anyway, I bought some chicken wings for supper tonight because I fucking love chicken wings. I'm going to go home cook those up. Got some other shit too. They had uh, $5 for 12 packs of Kraft Dinner. So I hooked that up because I fucking love Kraft Dinner. And yeah, so let's go home. Alrighty, we're back home. I'll show you what I got from groceries. So Pringles were on sale. All they had left was salt and vinegar, so I bought two cans of these. They're on sale for a buck. Some more chicken bologna for lunch. It's pretty gross, but it's pretty good. This shit was on sale for a buck. It's, uh, you know, you add it to your coffee. And in English, it's apparently Belgian coffee toffee. So that'll be pretty good. Got an itch right there. <clears throat> Needed more coffee for at work, so I bought this Nescafe. Actually, I take it back. I bought three jars of it because I love coffee. Got some of the best damn sauce you could ever dip your chicken in. Gourmet honey garlic. Freak, I love this stuff, Diana sauce. It's also awesome if you make meatballs in like a giant pot. And you just coat them in this. Oh, do they ever taste awesome. And last but not least, chicken wings, which I'm going to cook up tonight and eat. Because I'm freaking starved and I really want chicken wings. Alrighty, I fired up the barbecue. So we'll let that heat up and we'll drop some chicken wings to it. It'll be awesome. Still can't believe that there's light at the end of the tunnel. Like it's... 
When I got the call today from my boss saying, uh, we received your letter of termination, I got nervous. I was like, well, what do you mean? And he goes, well, he goes, you're getting your severance on December 14th. So we got to figure out how many holidays you have accumulated for next year and go from there. And I was like, so I'm getting my severance. He's like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought they're firing me. Like, fuck. I was like, really? You're just going to fire me? You can't really do that. Union up, bud. But we're good. We're good. We're going to get out of there, get our severance carry on with life. Worst case scenario, if I need a job and I can't find one, I know places hiring to do the same kind of work, but on a lot lower scale. Pay is not as awesome, but fuck, it's good enough. Like right now with my loans, which we all paid off with the severance, I'm shelling out uh, two, $700 bi-weekly, so $1,400 a month into those loans. That's going to be gone once I basically pay everything off. Uh, all I have left is the mortgage on the house, which is 400 bucks bi-weekly, 800 bucks a month. And that includes my house insurance or my mortgage insurance and property taxes. So all that's covered. Now, all I got to do for that, uh, beyond that, is hydro, which is about a bill 50 a month. Natural gas, 80 bucks a month. Internet, 80 bucks a month. So, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Yeah, it's uh. It's coming together. So I'll be able to survive for a while on the severance, especially after the government rapes me and takes all their cut. Alrighty, well we got the chicken coming along nicely here, but it's still got a long ways to go. I'm only a beer and a uh, half a beer down over there, so should be a two beer cook off. Well boys, I think these sluts are done. Probably going to flip them one more time, let them grill for a bit longer, and then we're going to take them off the, gr off the grill and go and devour some chicken wings. Oh, I'm looking so forward to this right now. Told you be a two beer job. Dead soldiers. Yup. I like to call this the mountain of awesome. All right, let's go in the house, get some more cold beers, get some sauce, eat, and jump into a Google Hangout with Tommy. So I couldn't find scampers, and then I was like, wait, this bag feels really full. And then I looked. <laughs> How the hell did you get in there so comfy like? <laughs> oh, you're such a weird kitty. Alrighty people, it's friggin' late. I'm friggin' hammered. But I'm hungry too, because all I have was chicken. Fucking chicken. So I think I'm gonna make a box of craft dinner, because I fucking want some craft dinner, because that'd be friggin' awesome right now after getting all loaded. So I'll have some craft dinner! Mmm. So I went on Tommy's hangout, hung out there for a bit. Shot the shit with them, and then uh, we played some Grand Theft Auto. That was a good time, good old Grand Theft Auto. By the way, Kitty's still in the bag. I know, why are you in there? Think your groceries? You think your groceries? What are you doing? Kitty. Kitty, kitty. Who's your kitty, kitty? Who's your kitty, kitty? She's been in that bag all night. I don't know what the fuck's going on, but whatever. That's uh, a new a new thing she's been doing since she came back is if I leave shopping bags out unattended, she jumps in them. Yeah, pretty pretty, pretty frigged up, man. But whatever. Anyway, I'm just trying to get a box craft dinner out of the out of the case. Oh, craft dinner. So box craft dinner, one and three quarters cups of water. Fire in the microwave for eight minutes. He got a good snack. Ugh, you can hear him. You just can't see him because he's got to be behind me. Yes. You know, every time you do that, somebody on the internet complains that their anxiety goes through the roof. And now the kitty came out of the bag. Where are you going, kitten? With then? Fuck her neck still chewed up, eh? Put her cream solution on it. But she's still fucked. Why are you so fucked? Like, look at that eye. That's disgusting. The fuck, man. This is why barn cats don't make good house pets. Come on, cook faster. Watch the stupid bouncing Pomeranian. Bangy, 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 bangy. You know what? I think when he does this, it actually accelerates her anxiety. And this is the reason why your fucking neck won't heal, bud. And Oreo goes over and licks her wound. That's disgusting. You're fucking gross.
So yeah, we did the hangout with Tommy, hung out there for a bit, and then uh, jumped on the Grand Theft Auto Online and played that for a couple hours, and now I'm going to watch Simpsons, because uh, there was last season and this season, i got to catch up on that shit. So I figured, fuck it, I'm going to make myself some craft dinner. I'm going to drop some of that in my face. I don't know what she's all concentrating on, but that's kind of cute. It's got a great big hole in the side of her head. And, uh, yeah, probably going to just watch Simpsons and go to bed gradually. It's currently 20 after 2 in the morning. Probably going to call her quite soon and go to bed early, wake up early tomorrow. Probably not. And, uh, I don't know what the fuck's going to happen tomorrow. Call for more rain, so nothing awesome, that's for sure. I might go to, uh, I want to look for a new keyboard for my computer because the keyboard I have is covered in, like, you know, death. And I was thinking about just replacing it because washing it's going to be too much of a pain in the ass. It could probably be easier and more effective to replace it. And then if I wash it and break it, then oh well. And if I wash it and don't break it, then I can put it on my other computer. But I was thinking about getting a, uh, a keyboard for my computer right now and uh, just being done with it. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we get into. That'll be tomorrow, but as for tonight, people, I'm shutting her down. Nothing else going on, just me pacing back and forth in my kitchen, talking to myself while I wait for my fucking craft dinner to cook, because I'm like that, because I'm Canadian. So, uh, thanks for watching. A like, favorite, and comment, as always. And until next time, people, keep on blogging.